this fits mm. into a lot of what I've seen uh, Eric Weinstein talk about as well is that what we're seeing at the moment is a kind of a war on heterodox thinkers. That there is some force that 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 fears individuality in some sense. Mm -hmm. And I think that's partly at, at the root of this. I think that there's uh, some nuance that needs to be injected into the conversation. Uh, what's the difference between a cult and a religion? Um, I, I think that the cult is a negative thing. I think religion isn't a negative thing. I don't think that religion itself is negative. And if you look at people who get into cults and have to go through a certain uh, steps of deprogramming from a cult, uh, there, there's certain sorts of ways that you get sucked into a cult and certain things that you need to do to get out of it that are alive and well in the grievance studies, uh, social justice, progressive mindset. Um, there's a lot of like, you're, you're praised for certain characteristics that make you feel good, but even though you're being praised for individual characteristics, the, that's not the same thing. Your identity is not necessarily the same thing as your individuality. This is such a difficult thing to pull apart as well because you're trying to hold the complexity of two perspectives. Like there's a, there's a huge reaction to this from the right, for example. And so a lot of the reaction mm. against the social justice groupthink is easily characterized by people as, well, this is just coming from the right. But I think mm -hmm. the complexity that has to be held is these are good values. Inclusivity is a, yes. is a good value. Treating people with respect is a good value. Yes. But if you make these your primary axioms, then they mm. tend to lead to madness. Hmm. If you make inclusivity and diversity your primary axioms, rather than the dignity of the individual, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than self-realization, rather than free speech, then mm. you're in danger of, like if you make care rather than truth your fundamental value, Mm -hmm. then you're in very dangerous waters very, very quickly because by definition, you are going to then have to stop certain people speaking if you think that what they're saying is not, um, is in danger of offending others. For example, yes. it's about, and that's where it maps onto the religious mindset really, really clearly. It's like your religious perspective is what are you making your primary axioms? What are you making yes. your primary values? Yeah. And that's, that's a very delicate conversation to be had because it's very easy to say, this whole social justice world is a cult and we've got to, we've got to fight back against it and it's, really, it's, it's in danger of becoming a new religion. But to be able mm. to hold the complexity of saying, we're not saying your values are wrong, we're saying that taken to an extreme, they become wrong. Yeah. Is, is a, yeah. like it, it's, it's almost like threading an eye of a needle to make, that, to make that conversation or make those points in a way that doesn't, that allows people to hear them if they're yeah. already minded to go along with this sort of very black and white narrative of goodies versus baddies and yeah you see what i mean it's almost like you know that that first um scene in indiana jones uh the first one raiders of the lost ark where he goes into the temple and he, he swaps out that gold bag with the, the statue um i don't want to get too petersonian but what happens is that it, there's this swapping out of the ideology with the individual where, where the individual is taken out and what's replaced is the ideology. So any cri criticism of the ideology feels like a personal attack. And that ne doesn't necessarily have to be tied into the care uh, principle, the care harm principle. Um, I think that that can happen anywhere. Any ideology, any religion taken into that extreme where it's an imposition rather than a journey of self-discovery, it's a communal um, rite of passage into a unification. It has the capacity to stir up a lot of defensiveness whenever somebody criticizes that.